Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in this video, we are going to learn how we can use VLOOKUP function along with drop down menu or drop down list that will help us to instantly find any required information from our data. So, here we have sample data that contains a list of names of inventory items that we have in our stock. Then, here in second column, unit price for these inventory items. Third column contains number of units that we have in stock for these inventory items and at last and fourth column contains location on which we have been placed these inventory items in our warehouse for example what is rack number what is shelf number for these inventory inventory items in our warehouse so what we need to do first first of all we will insert here table on our data to insert table we will simply use short key control plus t and here you can see this complete data is selected and here in this win window you need to make sure one thing that this uh, box is checked my table has headers because here you can see our data has headers item name price per unit balance location in store so we will go for ok and here you can see this table has been created there is one reason behind inserting this table because we could do this our we could complete our tutorial without even inserting this table or we could simply insert here filters we didn't even need to insert table but there is one reason that i will show you why we have been inserted here table along with this table uh, one thing is also created here here you can see name we uh, you can see here table seven when i will select this name you can see here this complete table has been created means this table seven is name range for this table so now next thing what we need to do next thing we need to think that what we want to uh, find out from this data suppose we just want to find out number of uh, units that we have uh, in inventory for specific inventory item so for this we will just simply select here item name we will just paste this header here for balance as we also want we want to find out balance number of units this balance and we will paste here so now what we need to do we will just simply insert here drop down list to uh, insert drop down list we will go to data in data we will go to data validation in data validation we will select here list in this window you also need to make sure that these two boxes are also checked so in source we will just click and we will just select this complete list of item names that we have here we will go for ok and then here you can see we have here drop down list in which we have all inventory items uh, just let me highlight this cell so now what next thing we need to do as we said what we want to uh, what we are going to learn we are going to learn how we can use VLOOKUP function with drop down menu or drop down list we have been created here drop down list now we will use VLOOKUP function so that we could find out the specific number of units or uh, number of units that we have in inventory for this specific item so what we will do we will use here VLOOKUP function the first thing that we need to insert here lookup value as we will be looking up for this value or this inventory item that we have in the cell so we will we have been selected this cell s3 so we will insert comma next thing table array as we need to find out this inventory item from this table and this table we have name table seven so just let me show you you can see here i have been written here table and this name range is already here so i will select it i will insert comma again and uh, you can see as we want to find out balance or number of units that we have in inventory and in this selection first second third in third column we have this number of units so we will insert three because from this third column we want to bring our output so again we will insert command exact match false or exact match because we want to match exactly same uh, inventory item name that we have here in this cell h3 so we will close bracket and we will press enter and here you can see here break coil has inventory items or number of units in inventory 45 so let me check uh, break coil here you can see 45 so just we will change this maybe uh, last item and here you can see 8 number of units so this is okay so the one thing that we said we will uh, explain that why we have been inserted here table we could even do this without inserting a table but uh, here is one use or one benefit of this inserting table you can see for example here if i insert one more item for example i will insert here simple filter maybe 
I have inserted here new item maybe price is maybe a uh, ten dollar maybe number of units we have one hundred fifty and maybe same location so here you can see we have been inserted here one more line or one more inventory item so if we don't have here table we need to update our drop down list but now as we have table here so we don't need to update our drop down list here you can see this last item or new item simple filter is already included here I mean this is auto updating our drop down list so when i will select this you can see here number of units are 150 so I mean this is okay you can also use this maybe we can use all these headers and we can find out each and everything from this i will just quick quickly i will just copy this formula i will paste it here and here you can see as price per unit is in second column i will insert here too and again i will insert here same formula and as a uh, location is in store is on in fourth column here you can see location in store is in fourth column i will insert here four and you can see here everything is okay now whenever we will change and this everything all information will change so that's all if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button and also please don't forget to share this video with your friends thanks for watching bye bye